me going to U.S. was a uh, it was a very how do you say it was a very spontaneous decision on my part. It was uh, it was motivated by a trip I had taken to my dad's country in uh, Nigeria, and uh, I just remember that I wanted to explore different countries, different cultures, and uh, and kind of see what other parts of the world looked like. Because of sports and because of the, the system in the U.S. where sports and school are integrated into one, and, and you know, all the, all the cool stuff you see on the, in Hollywood movies and with high school sports, it just kind of was something that drew me to the U.S. And um, I remember when I first came and uh, I joined the football team, then I wanted to be a wide receiver because that's what I had. Uh, that's what I had imagined myself as as a track runner, and that's uh, this guy's pretty fast. And uh, watching the star wide receiver on the team catching, you know, footballs for a touchdown was kind of what, what wanted me to try for the sport. And um, um, the lessons I learned from joining the football team was um, throughout that journey, like with that high school team I had, everyone around me would motivate me to try kicking. And it was never really my own idea. It was something that I was good at, but it wasn't my personal idea. I never even thought of it. You know, I had a very solid background in soccer and I knew I could kick a ball really far and very strongly, but it wasn't necessarily what I was looking at. And um, uh, I remember throughout the season with, uh, with my high school football team, then um, I didn't get a lot of playing time because, you know, learning the, learning the sport and learning the rules and the, the play system, wasn't necessarily the easiest for a 17 year old Norwegian kid who grew up playing soccer, which is just a continuous sport. You don't stop and learn plays, and it's just an ongoing thing. So they suggested that, hey, why don't you use your soccer abilities and try to join our varsity team as a field goal kicker? So I did, and I participated, and as the season went on, I didn't really, uh, like I said, get a lot of playing time. And uh, at one point, I got pretty mad and set, uh, upset, and uh, and I almost decided to walk away because I didn't, you know, get my way or get to get to play what I had imagined. And that's when my American host family, my dad, um, uh, Scott, he uh, sat me down after a game where I was pretty upset. And, and he said, Corey, take a deep breath and think here, right? You came to the U.S. and you all of a sudden have this, uh, everyone around you acknowledges you have this talent to kick a ball really far. You're in the newspapers here. Everyone's acknowledging kicking touchbacks on every, every kickoff. And um, there is an opportunity for you to get a scholarship over here and pursue your education. So for me, what I thought was just going to be a nine month, you know, go and see, go on almost like a longer vacation, turns out to be a life changing moment. As a kid, I always wanted to be an athlete, a professional athlete. And that was kind of, that was a dream that as I grew up in Norway, that kind of started to fade away more and more as school got more serious. But uh, then that dream was reignited and I saw it in front of me and I said, holy cow, like when I sign up for this foreign exchange student program, you write a profile, you, you kind of write a little summary about who you are, what your interests are. And uh, they saw that I was interested in sports. So they, they brought me over and decided like, okay, let's host this kid from Norway. So. That's where I get introduced to Scott, George, Amy, and Liam. That's what that was my family who I lived with at the time, and uh, um, and they just from the moment I was there, they they uh, took me in as a part of their family. Obviously, they you know they had their own way of living, they had their own rules, and that was a part of my idea of going to a foreign exchange here. I'm not there on a vacation, so to say. I'm there to live with another family and see what is life like with another family in this country. So throughout that year, they supported every. Uh, step of the way, what I did with my uh, with my school and what I want to uh, where I wanted to go in the U.S. and things I wanted to see, and ultimately with um, with that with a football uh, situation where I almost decided to quit the team. That's when my my host dad stepped in and gave me the gave me the idea. Said, "Hey, you have you have the opportunity to live the dream, basically that you always that you always like in, envision yourself." You can continue to be an athlete and you can continue to get a free education. So just um, from that moment on, they um, they went from being my host family to becoming my American family. So they're, I consider them family. We're no longer, 
you know, they're not just a host family, which is, it's funny every time I got to explain that to people, it's like, well, who is, who is your, because uh, my brother lives up here right now from, uh, from Kansas, he goes to school at U of R. So every time they see him, it's like, who's that? I say, it's my brother. And then they look at us and they're like, wait, is that your brother? I'm like, that's my brother. Yeah, it is. And I always find that amusing. And since then, they will come to every single, uh, or not every single, but they will come to a lot of my college football games when I was playing at Marshall in West Virginia. And uh, my family from Norway, you know, being that far, they didn't really have the opportunity to come. They came from my graduation, which was awesome. But Scott and Joy and uh, sometimes Liam and Jamie would also come to the, to the games and they would just support me, you know, all the way. And they were really just, my family the whole time and they still are my family so they uh it's been an amazing relationship that continues till today and they supported me every step of the way and it's really without them uh not with them that i'm able to be here today and play football and that i couldn't have done it without support so it's taught me the value of family you know and uh like how how deep those relationships really go and like how much uh how much they yeah how much they mean so